What's up guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the MyUI ROM, or the MiUI, or the MiUI ROM for the Galaxy S3. This is the Verizon version, and this is also the Jelly Bean version. This is uh, version 4.1 for, like I said, the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3. Now, one thing that I love about the MyUI ROM is you really can customize it however you want. You can make this thing look as much like the iPhone as you want, or you can make it look as much like Android as you want. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started with the features. And the first thing that you probably noticed was the lock screen. Uh, from here you can simply pull down to unlock. You can go directly into messaging, directly into the camera or the phone. And that is new with 4.1 there, that style of lock screen. Uh, if we go into the way this will be set up when you first get it, just so, so you know, uh, all your apps will just be loaded up like this and you will have to drag and drop them into folders that's one thing about my UI is that it doesn't come with an app drawer so you kinda have to make your own app drawer which is fine you can put everything into one folder and then you could just drop it into uh, the launcher bar here like that and then you'd have an app drawer uh, personally I kinda like the way that it's set up it is kind of iOS y because you've got your search bar to the far left and then you have like you know an infinite amount of pages for apps um, some people like that about it, some people hate it. Personally, I kind of like that. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I should mention that this is brought to you by Beanstown. He's the developer who created this ROM, so big shout outs to Beanstown. He's been doing a lot of really great development on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, so anyhow, we'll jump into the settings. And if you come down here past your accounts, uh, you have device settings, so this is where you can do some customization here. Uh, you have your battery settings. Uh, you can actually choose a battery indicator style. Uh, if you go with my UI bar, that's what's become really popular. Um, it's even been featured in ROMs like AOKP and Signage Mod 10, which is pretty cool. I personally prefer the percentage, uh, so that's what I'll stick with. Then you can also go with your um, LED here and you can change your LED colors the way that it flashes whenever you have different kinds of notifications as well and somewhere around here you can modify the clock but I don't really remember where that was um, let's see if we go into display you have your launcher and this is where you can change the launcher effect so I have it on 3d cube but that's just really what I like but there's several others that you can choose here uh, so I'm just going to go back for now, but and you can also change the layout type. So you guys know that the iPhone 5 just came out, and one of their big features is a 4-inch screen, so now they can have five rows of icons. Guys, we've had that forever. Um, you can change your layout here, either 4x4 or 4x5. We had that way before the iPhone. That's so 2010. Anyhow, um, there's that, and then we also have... I thought possibly maybe the clock would be in here, but it's not. You see that I had the center clock enabled. Um, maybe it's in status bar. Let's see here. No, okay. So it's not in status bar. I'm not sure where I found the clock. If you look around for a minute, you'll find it. We'll go into about phone, and I'll show you guys uh, the information on this. It is on uh, build number 2.9.7. Uh, JRO03L and it is 4.1.1 and we'll go into the theming options that's another big part of my UI is that you really can just theme the crap out of this uh, so many themes and they're, they're stored online so you just have endless options for theming uh, so we'll go into our my UI themes and I'll just show you how it works I mean obviously you can go online and like I said there's hundreds of themes to choose from um, ranging from really iOS-y themes to really Android-y themes. You could even have like a, a stock uh, Galaxy S Touch Wiz. I mean, they have just about everything on here. You can have like Moto Blur, uh, pretty much whatever you want, uh, which is really cool. Plus, you have like movie themes or Angry Birds themes like here. So that's really cool. A lot of people like the theming element of my UI. If we go to local, I've already downloaded the Seamless White. So I'm just going to show you how easily you apply it. Just click on it and apply and I will apply without font so that I don't have to reboot and just like that it is applied so if we go back to the home screen there you have it so it's totally overhauled my theme and made it look totally 
new. And like I said, there's hundreds of themes to choose from. So one way that you can add custom widgets is just by pinching in the screen. You can actually grab a widget and drop it anywhere on the screen. And you can also delete it like so. There's several widgets to choose from in my UI. Um, one of the fan favorites is the music widget, which is right there. A lot of people like that. And of course, the clocks are really nice in my UI as well. Uh, but you can add any widget just like I just did. You can also add infinite pages. So you can add a page, add a page, add a page, and delete a page, delete a page, delete a page, delete a page. So my UI has really become one of my favorites over time. It's very clean. It's just such a clean and crisp uh, UI for the Android software. Um, I really like it. I know a lot of people just love all the extra customization of like an AOKP and a CM10, but this has all the customization you'll ever need. And I'm really glad to finally have it on the Galaxy S3 thanks to Beanstown. Uh, another feature here is if we hold the home button, it's going to bring up our recent applications. Um, let's see here. There's a way to close them out. Oh yeah, you just swipe them away like so. So that's how you do your recents. Uh, and then you can also clean your cache just by pressing this. If you if you run low on cache, it's going to show yellow or red. And then you'd want to press that button and clean your cache. Right now it shows that I'm fine. Okay, and uh, one last thing before we install is the MyUI Toolbox. So this is where I changed the clock. Duh. Center clock, you just select it to turn it on. Um, you can hide AM, PM. You can change the signal bars. You can choose a custom carrier label, which is what I have here, Droid Modder X. And you can also do a custom carrier logo. Like it comes with the My UI logo in the top left corner. You can actually change that to any image from the gallery that you want, which is really cool. If you go to colors, you can also change all your colors up top. I've chosen that color, but you could easily go to like a pink just to show you how easily it changes. And I'll take it back. Uh, for your launcher, there's a few other settings here for launcher and then your CPU. This is for your overclocking. Very important. Uh, you have a custom kernel here and you can overclock. You can also set a CPU governor. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with governors, performance would be like a, a uh, overclock to the max all the time. Eats up your battery like crazy. Uh, only select that if you're playing games or something that really requires lots and lots of CPU. Conservative or interactive is really what I normally go with. Um, it came stock with the on-demand. Um, interactive and conservative tend to only uh, boost your CPU when it actually needs it, and it kind of saves battery. So like if your phone's sitting there, it's not going to use a whole lot of CPU unless you're really doing something that needs a CPU. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out about the, you can see the center clock. It's kind of overlapping with my notifications because I did put it in the center. Uh, if that's something that's going to bother you or annoy you, I would suggest not putting it in the center because that will happen. Uh, other than that, I haven't found any issues or bugs with this. Everything works just fine. The camera's working, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything works great. Uh, so that is my UI by Beanstown. So we'll go ahead and install it. We'll reboot into recovery. Now it comes with G apps included, so all you're going to have to do is flash the ROM. You'll wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, and install the ROM. Pretty simple stuff. So you go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Go to install, and you're looking for just the simple My UI zip. And you will swipe to flash. When you're finished with that, you'll just go to Reboot and System. So guys, I'm going to leave you with the boot animation. Uh, you can check me out at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Right now I'm giving away a Samsung Galaxy S3 case, so you want to be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be tweeting out the contest. All you have to do is retweet that and you're entered to win. Um, also, be sure to click the subscribe button right there. Uh, you want to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I'm going to provide 
all kinds of coverage on the Samsung Galaxy S3. The Galaxy Note 2 is on the way. As soon as it drops, I'm going to grab one. I'm thinking really hardly about getting the Razer HD. If that's something that you guys want to see, please let me know. Uh, tweet to me. Comment on my videos. Uh, just let me know about that if you guys really want to see that. I may think about getting it. And uh, several other awesome phones that are coming to the market. The new Nexus lineup is going to come pretty soon, so I'll be covering that. I've got the Nexus 7, the Galaxy Nexus, um, the Droid Bionic. All these phones will be covered on this channel, so be sure that you're subscribed to that. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. Let's see if we can reach 200 likes on this video. If we can, that would be awesome. I'd be so proud. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.